just squeeze your abs, try harder, squeeze your abs more. I realize how kind of absurd this request is for someone that can't even feel their abs, let alone like contract them. Sometimes referred to as the inner unit, deep spinal stabilization. Why we love fascia so much for SCI is because it offers an opportunity for communication outside of the traditional nervous system. We can transmit tension downstream, even into paralyzed areas. The fascia will create a stiffening of the area and may even create enough of a disturbance to sort of stimulate the muscle to actually contract. This pink muscle here is, is where the serratus anterior is. That's our access point to the spiral line. Core connection requires this shoulder connection. Let your shoulder come up towards your ear and go, eh, I don't really like that. I wanna engage my serratus pushing the ground away or pushing the block away, slide your armpit down, open up your collarbone. And remember that shortening of the front is gonna create, exacerbate more of that interior tip of the shoulder. So doing that depression with a little bit of armpit slide down and wide collarbones. Your armpits are sliding down towards your side. Flex those neck abs and start to lift yourself up. So we're right here, we're gonna push the ground away. Try to keep that armpit slide as you bring the arm up overhead. Use your top arm on your hip so that it helps push the hip out of the way. And then push through the heel of the hand, slide the armpits down, widen the collarbone. Push the ground away. Now we're getting load bearing through our arms and overhead. The concepts themselves are more important than the exercises I show you because I want you to take the concepts and integrate them into your everyday life. Today's workshop was figuring out that shoulder to core connection, but remember along any of the fascial lines, you can use any of those access points to access anywhere in the body.